Home of the Brave Chapter 1 Snow When the flying boat returns to earth at last, I open my eyes and gaze out the round window. Where is all the white? I whisper. Where is all the world? The helping man greets me, and there are many lines and questions, and pieces of paper. At last I follow him outside. We call that snow, he says. Isn't it beautiful? Do you like the cold? I want to say no, this cold is like claws on my skin. I look around me. Dead grass pokes through the underkind blanket of white. Everywhere the snow sparkles with light, hard as high sun. I close my eyes. I try out my new English words. How can you live in this place called America? It burns your eyes. The man gives me a fat shirt and soft things like hands. Coat, he says. Gloves. He smiles. You'll get used to it, Keck. I am a tall boy, like all my people. My arms stick out of the coat, like lonely trees. My fingers cannot make the gloves work. I shake my head. I say, this America is hard work. His laughter makes little clouds. Chapter 2 Old Words, New Words The helping man, the helping man, is called Dave. He tells me he's from the Refuge Resettlement Center, but I don't know what those words are trying to say. He isn't tall like my father was and there is hair on his face, the color of clouds before rain. His car is red and coughs and burps when he tries to make it go. Doesn't much like the cold either, he says. I smile to say I understand, although I do not. Sometimes Dave speaks English. The tangled words they try to teach us in the refugee camp. And sometimes he uses my words. He's like a song always out of tune, missing notes. To help him, I try some English, but my mouth just wants to chew the words and spit them out on the ground. We are like a cow and a goat, wanting to be friends, but wondering if it can be done. Chapter 3 Questions We drive past buildings, everywhere buildings, everywhere cars, everywhere dead trees. Who killed all the trees, I ask? They're not dead, Dave says. This is called winter, and it happens every year. In spring, their leaves will come back. You'll see. He turns to smile. His eyes are wise and calm. The eyes of a village elder. Your family will be happy to see you, Dave says. But he doesn't mean my truest family. My mother and father and brother. I don't answer. I reach into my pocket and I feel the soft cloth. I carry with me everywhere, blue and yellow, torn at the edges, the size of my hand, soft as new grass after good rain. Dave asks, when did you last see your aunt and cousin? A long time ago, I say, before the camp. I can tell that Dave has many questions. I wonder if all America people will be so curious. <clears throat> My mouth is going to get very sore, stumbling on words all day long. We stop at a light, high hung in the air, red and round, like a baby sun. How was the airplane trip? 
Dave asks in English. When I don't answer, he tries again, using my words. Did you like the flying boat? I liked it very much, I say. I'd like to fly such a boat one day myself. When Mama comes, we'll take a flying boat around the world. Dave turns to look at me. You know, Keck, he says. We aren't sure where your mother is. His voice has the soft sting of pit in it. We don't know if she is... She's fine, I tell him. I look out the window at the not-dead trees. She will come, I say. And this time, I use my words, my music. Chapter 4. What the Heck We drive down a long road with many fast cars. Still, there are buildings, but sometimes not. I see a long fence made of old gray boards. And then I see the cow. <clears throat> Stop! I yell. I feel regret in my heart to use such a harsh sound with my new helping friend. Please stop, I say gently this time. What? Dave asks. What's wrong? Did you not see her? The brave cow in the snow? Dave glances in the looking back glass. Cow? Oh yeah, that used to be a big farm. Lot of land around here's getting sold off now. But that farmer's hanging on. I don't understand his words, but I can hear that he doesn't love cattle as I do. And I feel sorry for him. I twist in my seat. I don't move belt across my chest. Pulls back. Oh, what the heck, Dave says. I have not yet learned the meaning of heck, but I can see that it's a fine and useful word because he turns the car around.